Hey, great. Thank you. Uh, welcome back, everyone. This is Robert from Custodian File. Uh, thank you for watching your support. Uh, I wanted to do a review uh, yesterday, uh, May 10. There was a uh, Navy uh, jet crashed off the coast of Sacramento Islands. Very unusual. I'm doing, I'm doing a search for all the news. There's, uh, there's not a lot of articles being printed, but I want to put together, show you what I, what I have so far. Uh, looks like a uh, Navy uh, jet, uh, the N542, uh, left uh, uh, Point Magoo about uh, 8 o'clock and made it to Sacramento uh, Island. It issued an emergency, a May Day emergency. Uh, and I guess obviously it could not even land. It uh, basically the power must have just turned off uh, and went straight down and uh, the plane's underwater and uh, the crew's missing too. So let me show you some pictures uh, where, we're, where we're going with this. Uh, maybe I can put together a connection. Okay, great. So by a coincidence, I found this video yesterday. Uh, one of the viewers suggested, uh, actually the new engineer from Brazil, he said, hey, you got to check this out. So this is an interview with the Italian government. They have a lot of UFO data, a lot. And basically he was saying, reluctantly he was saying, we cannot shoot down these UFOs because when we do, they send the missiles back. They send them back and they shoot down our aircraft, uh, which you could probably expect something to that effect. Now, also that you may find interesting is uh, I, you know, I give lectures at the Air Force Base and I was talking to a major, a retired major. He told me the exact same story. Uh, after the 1952 incident over Washington, D.C., uh, they had a policy from that point forward to shoot down a UFO at any cost. And so their policy went from 1950 to 1970 to shoot down a UFO no matter what. And the major was telling me that at the end of 1970, it was determined that the policy was a disaster because we lost one jet every day somewhere in the world. And he said they would use our missiles, turn them around and shoot us down. Just like, just like the Italian government is stating here. Okay, uh, LAPD over the Jetty Rocks. No radio transponder, no GPS. Uh, why am I showing you this? I'm assuming he, get, he gets tagged. Uh, so I don't review the videos ahead of time, but I, I will slow it down. If he gets tagged, I will slow it down. I Believe me, even for me, it's still hard to see these UAP dragons. It's hard. They're fast, even in slow motion. Okay, slow motion. What do we have here? There he is, coming right out of the water, right underneath him. It's a hot zone, guarantee. You fly over the hot zone, look at that. There's a contrast. You're going to get tagged by this UAP dragon. It's just, it's, it's predictable as uh, gravity, the science of gravity. You fly over the hot zone. That's why he's flying over the hot zone. He knows that these UAP dragons hang out there. Very predictable. So, um, just want to just, again, there's no GPS. Look at that, slowed it down even more. Um, amazing, right? Isn't this impossible? No sonic boom, 2,000 miles an hour. You know the 2,000 miles an hour was confirmed by the Pentagon along with the X-band radar spectrum that uh, I've been telling people for a long time. So I'm glad that the uh, Pentagon is supporting my data. Okay, let's go to the next. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. Let's go to the next video. Super. Okay, here's a video from a viewer, Australia. So I have viewers all over the world now. They're, they're searching. They're searching the internet. They're, they're going to the airport. They're recording aircraft. Look, there's about two or three dragons here. I've slowed this down as slow as it will go. Uh, you'll see a couple of dragons approach the wing. Look at this. They fly behind the wing. Feel free to stop it, enlarge it. They go behind the wing. Um, and there's also a bird there in the area. So it's hard. Maybe they assumed the bird was going to cause an accident. And they intervene. They got, uh, they got rid of the bird. Uh, they said, hey, you know, we can't have this plane crashing. 
so one dragon showed up and then another dragon showed up as if to look at this they're, they're coming they're surrounding this airliner as if to say we just want to make sure you're going to land safe safely so i appreciate the viewers all over the world sending in dragon uap video i know this is hard a lot of you are saying this just cannot be happening this is impossible uh, it may be, it may sound impossible, but believe me, it's very happening. You can call the Pentagon, call the Coast Guard, the LAPD, uh, see what they tell you. And please let me know if they tell you something worth hearing. Please let me know. Uh, okay, but this is a good one too because he flies behind the wings. Um, it's hard to stop and enlarge everything. I have so much video now. I'm swamped and, um, and I just bought a new camera. Yesterday I was doing a podcast, a UAP Dragon podcast, and my camera mysteriously broke at the same time. I don't know what that's about, so I had to buy a new Panasonic camera. Um, I am going to post my uh, link to GoFundMe in case anybody wants to help me with the uh, software research and the new camera. If you can't, that's fine. Just send me your good energy. Oh, uh, look at this video here. He's flying over, he's flying over the, uh, the, the, the jetty rocks. Uh, I want to replay it here. And, um, yeah, he, he, there's a light beacon, appears to be a light beacon. Here it is. This is no light beacon. Look how friggin' bright this is. Boom. I mean, this is really bright. Uh, I don't think this is the reflection of the sun. Um, and he's turning, he's looking for this dragon. So who knows, are we using some type of EMP light technology, a laser, a, a laser flash and impulse? Uh, this was really a very bright, here we go again, see if it plays a little longer. Now, uh, th this is what's going on. I think we're still trying, we're still trying to shoot these down. I really advise not to do that. Uh, but they're not going to listen to me because, you know, I'm not a rocket scientist, right? Okay, let's go to the next video. Here, I'll play that one more time. Let me see the flash. Boom. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay, thank you. I did find the longer video. Here we go uh, with this chopper. And look at this. What is, what, what is this? Some type of uh, pulse radar laser. That's not a reflection of the sun. That's not a beacon under the helicopter. And look, look at the dragon flies by and it goes on at the same time. So the computer sensors and the helicopter picked up the radar signature of the dragon. It activated this, whatever, this light weapon. And boy, he came pretty close. Look at that. That dragon out, I think it outran it. But I mean, looks like we're getting really good at this. You know, trial and error. We're making these uh, special uh, uh, weapons equipment. And this thing's going 2,000 miles an hour. So we've got radar that can track 2,000 miles an hour and trigger a response. Uh, what, what did they say on uh, Star Trek? Uh, target, target that object and fire. Phenomenal. I mean, it's, an, it's impressive that we can do this. But should we be doing it? Should we be doing it? Okay, let's wrap this up. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment. I could use your support. Give me your feedback. If you think I'm 100% wrong, that's fine. I'm not a crybaby about it. Go ahead and share. Uh, if you like it, let me know too. Until the next video, please stay safe. Thank you.